Dorit, is your marriage strong? How many tattoos do you have right now? I only knew of three. Maybe you should be looking at my body closer. The Beverly Hills ladies are back. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sami Sam P. Let's talk about episode one of the new season of Real Life of Beverly Hills right now. So it starts with PK. PK is eating two bags of chips at the same time. He ain't trying to be healthy. And we see Dory coming with the long hair and the newly done Botox ready to meet some lady called the ego woman apparently the ego woman are going to come and heal the group so dorit is talking to the ladies and she decided that her and all the ladies are going to come all back together and have a kumbaya meeting with the ego woman erica jane is looking quite skinny i ain't gonna lie even when i saw her on the trailer I said it was she was probably a Mozempe because wow, she's always had a nice body, but she's always a little bit on the curvier side, but she's definitely bigger. All the ladies are coming in there and she's a little bit anxious because she knows she's been nasty to the lady. We see Garcelle and Miss Sutton coming together and everybody is ready to mingle. The ego lady comes in. And when they came, it was like, you know, like Native American type of thing. Just free. And I was like, okay, child, okay. So they now all go and sit down and it's time for the ladies to talk. The read started and honestly, I didn't know who she was going to be mad at. But when she said Erica Jane and she said this here. By you, Erica, you said about PK and I was mean-spirited and deeply hurtful i was like oh oh i mean it was a game and yeah like dory decided to take it seriously is it because something really happened like what's the reason behind it i don't know but erica jen is asking her this here dorit is your marriage strong and i was like who she's gonna be the villain <laughs> Yeah, y'all. Erica Jane is coming in hot, ready to not play with them, even though she's talking about she wants to make peace with them. I don't know. But then it kind of switched up, and Erica Jane was crying, asking the ladies, you know, to forgive her. I'd like to apologize if I was rough, if I was vicious. I've never. I'm like. Are you crying because you want to make sure you're still going to be on this show next season? Like you're afraid the girl ice you out and you're, going, you're not going to be on the show? Like, what's going on? Like, she went from being super cold to Dory to now crying. That was something else. And then we have Carl that's basically telling them how she was not happy with them whenever she was having the back and forth with a sister and Garcelle was like, girl, what do you want us to do? That's your sister. You're turning a sister. And it's like, yeah, like the family, like what were they supposed to do, right? And yeah, Kyle obviously has a lot of hurt and it seems like she's still willing to talk about her sister. Your sister is gone. She's moved on. Apparently, she's not going to come back because she's going to be in Paris Hilton show. So I don't know why Kyle decided that she's still going to talk about it, but she is still going to talk about it. It ends up being well. The ladies are all hugging together. We see Crystal. She didn't really say much, you know, it's just being the same old Crystal. But at the end of the day, it's nice to have a younger person there. So I'm not mad at her presence. We have Sutton having a friend meeting with her. And your girl Sutton, I mean, she's been killing it with, you know, the housewife, making big money there. She has the settlement money from her divorce. And she's having a store. So she's definitely making money. And the discussion that she had with her best friend was so interesting. Like, it was like, let's learn from her, ladies. Like, this is learning lesson. She's basically telling us, Eric went, he's claiming that, yeah, at the end of the day, I want to be able to prove to my ex-husband that I am smart. And a part of me is like, I like it, but I don't like the fact that it's because you want to prove something to the man. But you know what? If this is... The price of success, personally, I would take it. A lot of women, you know, let themselves go because they want to make it easier for people around them, their mother, they want to take care of their children, they want to take care of their husband. 
But one thing I have learned is that we're in a very selfish world where the most selfish person in this world are men. You know what I mean? And as women, we have to learn to think about ourselves first too. It's very important. And that is something that I am currently learning myself. Um, I have been on a self-care journey and it's going to be a forever self-care journey. I have dimmed my light in the past because I wanted to make other people shine. I'm never going to do that again. Like I'm not jeopardizing myself. I'm not second guessing who I am as a woman. And if you're not good for me, I'll, you know, take a step back, right? Like you don't, you don't have to be with people that you know don't like you and you still be around them because you have an interest or stuff like that. It's just toxic. I feel that women, we have to re take back our power. You know, most of the time when we meet those men, you know, we're the height of whatever we're doing, right? And that's what attracted them. And then you go and be with them and then you change because you want to be of support to a man that's going to end up, you know, probably disappoint you in a way, right? And nobody deserves that. Because when you always end up putting yourself first, there's no place for anybody to do you wrong because you put yourself second to make them happy right you always and, and when I, i'm not saying be selfish but there's a level of selfishness that every human being should have and uh yeah i mean i'm proud of certain for what she's doing i like a new assistant he has a lot of personality and i'm sure we're going to you know see more of him erica jane the girl is still going to a therapist and stuff like that at least i applaud her for her consistency she has that celebrity therapist that I've seen before in other shows. I don't know her name, but yeah, it seems like she's doing the work. It seems like she's ready for her husband to die or something. Like the way she's talking about, I'm not sure. Ah, it did tell you want to die? Yeah, he's ready to die. As old as he is, he didn't tell you he's ready to die. I'm just saying. That was something else. Next, we have uh, Dorit inviting Kyle over. And Dorit is serving cow pizza on beautiful versace plate and i was like i want those versace plates so as some of you know i've moved into my new house a couple years ago and i'm still in the process of like decorating burning plates and all that and i want to be like you know that maîtresse de maison like we say it in french where you know how to serve people and I remember one of my favorite influencers melissa wardrobe she went to tj maxx and she bought some Versace plate for like very very good price and now I'm like I need to go to TK Maxx too like I want to find Versace plate at TK Maxx TK Maxx prices like I need to make it there and yeah I really really want to have Versace plate like it's literally like one of in my life to do like I want to get to that level I want to be able to serve my friend Pizza in a dryer salad. That pizza was dry as hell. On Versace plates. You know? So both ladies are talking. And Carl is talking about his sister again. And I'm like, Carl, leave that, leave that alone. <laughs> you know, like, like, leave that alone, right? And then we have Dorit talking about the PTSD and how it has affected the relationship with PK. And then she said that thing here. Walked down that aisle with PK because I truly believed I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. Or the rest of his anyway. I'm like, Sha. <laughs> See? That's why I like those rich white women. It doesn't matter what age she is. She's letting you know if a rich husband is gonna die, he ain't gonna be the last husband. Like she's still gonna be on the market. But a lot of us black women, we be thinking, oh, I'm 30 years old, I'm finished. Look at this over 40 years old with two, three kids, women, talking about if my present husband die, I'm gonna get a new one. That's the confidence us women of color need. I'm just saying. Dory did, you know, she's gone through some very traumatic thing. I wish her, you know, to heal from that. But the way Kyle is looking at her, does she believe her? Do we believe Dorit? I think Dorit is setting us up for a storyline. All those ladies are setting us up for their storyline. You also, Erika Jane crying at the beginning. 
I wasn't believing it. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> Need the <a> girl <gossip. laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's interesting to see Erica be emotional. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, did y'all believe this? I didn't. We have Garcelle out with her sons to have a discussion. They're going to the beach, and seems like one twin is in love, and the other one is a little, you know, yeah, he, he has a mouth full. So they were discussing about her parenting and the stuff that they need. Those twins are 15 years old and they're saying those one of them said this thing here to his mom and me parent and you i understand where you're coming from that you want to be more of a parent to us but i needed that two years ago instead of now i was like listen 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 i love children teenagers that speak their mind because i believe that as a parent it's easier to have a child that's going to open up to you and that, that's going to tell you what they think. But at the same time, there needs to be a level of, you know, respect and, you know, for the parents, right? I'm not saying he was disrespectful, but I felt like he was a little too harsh on his mom, right? It seems like they're very attached to her and her living is hard on them. But at the end of the day, they live in Beverly Hills, they live in LA, she needs to make money because y'all have high demands and it's not easy to do that and it's not easy to juggle and when those 15 years old talking about you i don't need it now he is 15 he needs it you know i'm 35 and i still need my parents so imagine a 15 year old um but one thing with teenagers they think they know it all um i feel bad for garcelle because you see the love that she has for her son and the need and want to be, you know, the best mom that they have. But at the end of the day, teenagers, they say a lot of things. They're very sure of themselves. But, you know, half of the time they're wrong because they just haven't experienced life. And I think that her children might be young and extremely entitled. You know what I mean? And that is a problem that is happening a lot with, you know, black people when they become rich. I'm just being honest. Sometimes the children... They're very entitled, you know, like my mom was working all the time, you know what I mean? But she always made it clear to us that it's for us. I think that Garcelle is doing the same for her children, but they want what they want because maybe in their environment, mom is always there, dad is always there. So in them saying that this is not the same for them, probably hurting them, but hey, it was hard for me to watch, but I wish them luck, and I do believe that Garcelle is an excellent mom. So yeah, whatever. Kyle and Mauricio talking, and I was like, that was awkward. They're basically catching up, making plans, making meetings to schedule their life, and obviously Kyle is going through some things. She's working out, she's taking care of herself, and she's explaining that it is an outlet for her to forget, you know, to cope with whatever situation she's had to go through. It's funny because I am in a period of my life where I'm disciplining myself that way, you know, where I'm waking up, praying, working out, doing everything to the best of my abilities. And because I want to be so busy that I don't think about my problems. And um, yeah, I understand where she's coming from. It seems like she's going to some type of rebellious. She's going through a new, you know, transition in her life, right? Um, most of her children are grown. She only has probably one left with her. And um, the situation with her sister, the show, the pressure, Kyle is going through a lot. She is going through a lot. Is she telling us everything she's going through? No, but you know, we know enough. Mauricio not noticing a tattoo. How many tattoos do you have right now? Well, maybe you should be looking at my body closer. I don't know. That's weird now. Ain't gonna lie. That was weird. That was really weird. Like, people, married people know that. Like, when your man is into you, they notice everything. Like, my husband is always all around me. Like, he would know if I have a burger up, 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 up here. He's gonna tell me. He notices everything about me. And I feel like when the man stop noticing these type of things, I'm not saying it's a problem, but it means he's extremely busy with other things. And obviously this is creating a shift. So they probably need to like, you know, 
get back together and make time to spend that time together. Then he's telling her, he's telling her, I don't want you to get a tattoo. And she's like, I'm doing the hell I want to do. <laughs> she's like, my body, my choice. Okay. Like you ain't got no choice now. <laughs> I mean, that was very awkward. I ain't gonna lie. And wow. Right. Um, all I have to say is that this first episode is definitely letting us know what everybody is going to be about for the next, for the rest of the season. Like we all know what's going on, right? Sutton is living a, a best house, bring horses and being successful. Garcelle is, you know, dealing with her children and a career. Erica is trying to be friend with the girl and making more money because she lost everything and waiting for her husband to die. Dorit and her husband are going through the motion and Kai is going through a crisis and he's having issues with her sister and, you know, is not that close with her husband. I think we got it all. So now that we know what to expect, we'll see what's going to happen. I thought this episode was great. It was a great first episode. Let me all know what you thought about it. And for those of you that are new, hey, welcome, and I invite you to, you know, and for those of you that have been here with me, supporting me, thank you all so much, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.